Hello and welcome back to module three. It's great to be with you again for the rest of this programme today. Be yourself, everyone else is taken. Someone famous said that, could be Oscar Wilde, we don't know, but whoever said it, it's a really great piece of advice for us on this journey. When you combine your unique set of skills and talents, which I call signature strengths, and your passions, you are giving a 100% unique gift to the world which only you can bring. Isn't that a fantastic idea? I really believe that this is what work can be like. A gift to yourself, a gift to others, a gift to your colleagues, your beneficiaries, a gift to the world. Work doesn't have to be an unrelenting grind or a slog. It doesn't have to be about gritting your teeth and getting through the day. It doesn't have to make you feel stuck, unfulfilled and unhappy just because you have bills to pay. You might like to examine your own limiting beliefs around work actually. It's a very emotionally laden area. You can use the, the tools that we've looked at in module two. When you think about work as your gift, you transform your experience of it. You're more effective and productive and there's research to show this. You're happier because you're honouring who you really are. You're more confident because you're focusing on your strengths rather than on your weaknesses. And you give others the opportunity to be their unique gift as well. So in this module, I invite you to the Love Your Charity Job Discovery Week. And the thing you're going to discover about yourself, about the thing you're going to discover is yourself. I invite you to use the two handouts to uncover your signature strengths and your passions, the things you absolutely love to do, so you have a crystal clear idea of what you bring to the table. One of the things that I really want to do with this programme is to encourage you in, conf in the confidence not to start your job changes and your job searches out there, your job sites and CVs. I encourage you to start in here with yourself. So I invite you to think in terms of what gift do I bring to the world? What can I offer to the charity sector? People really very, very rarely do this. There's lots of reasons. They may be so desperate to move on that they can't think of doing it in any other way. They may have to get a new job very quickly. Maybe they don't believe there's another way. It's also maybe seen as a bit arrogant and a bit full of pride to be comfortable with your own talents and strengths. I think that's quite a powerful thing running through our sector. But I invite you now to really value and nourish your own unique vein of gold, as Nick Williams calls it in the book that I recommended, The Work We Were Born To Do. Then you can look for opportunities where you match what you offer with what is needed in the world. And this is a beautiful recipe for success and happiness. There's a wise saying from Aristotle, where your talents and the needs of the world cross, there lies your vocation. So let's get going to find that point. So you're gonna print out the two handouts at the bottom of this page. And here's a few tips for working with them. First of all, I really encourage you to schedule in a few good chunks of time into your diary so you can get this home study done. You'll want to make a start, reflect, break off, come back to it. You'll need to give yourself plenty of time to do this. Another tip, if you find it difficult to think about what you're good at, begin by asking other people what they think you're good at. I find with my one-to-one -one clients that once we do that, their own thoughts and insights really start to flow. There really can be a lot of resistance to acknowledging our own strengths. So let someone help, else help you do it. So another tip is to remember to go beyond your work experience to the skills and gifts and passions in your whole life. It may be that your perfect work, which is just around the corner, actually draws on skills that you're not using at work, but you're using outside. We tend to take these a bit for granted. We're not used to thinking like this. Also, don't dismiss the idea of thinking about what you were good at as a child. 
When we're young, we do what comes naturally and easily, not what we ought to do, which is how we get a bit caught up with things later. Another tip, break things down. So you move beyond the general terms. For instance, your skills aren't in corporate fundraising, they're in building relationships, getting on with people, anticipating needs, writing targeted copy and so on. And keep asking yourself my very favourite self-coaching question. What else? What else? What else? You might think you've finished. Go away, come back and ask yourself what else another dozen times. This question allows you to dig deep and get a really thorough picture. And don't worry about repeating yourself in your answers. The questions are just there so that you can come at this from various different angles. In fact, the more you repeat yourself, the more clear it is that something is really important and a signature strength or signature passion for you. And finally, take your time. You've probably never done such a thorough audit of what you're all about. Make it fun. Have a glass of wine, a cup of tea, a biscuit. Get imaginative and find your own creative way of representing what you discover. And you don't need to worry about my dull old handouts if you can find a more imaginative way to do it. Or you can make it a time of quiet peace and reflection where you truly listen to your own intuition and your heart. The secret is not to look for the answers yet of what this all means to you. Your only job right now in this module is to get excited and motivated by what you find inside when you look with new and fresh open eyes. So that's it for now. I can't wait to find out what you all discover.